As you can tell by my apron, I'm a fucking sauce boss. Thank you, Harley, from uh, Epic Mealtime. He didn't send this to me. I bought it myself because I don't think he likes me. <laughs> My friends, we are going to be cooking a very special Hawaiian treat known as Loco Moco. That's Loco as in crazy, that's Moco as in uh, motors. Now the Loco Moco that I'm making is going to be different. We're going to have umami bombs going off left and fucking right. First things first, let's get that gravy going. We're going to move this pan out the way because it's pissing me off. What we're going to do, first off, is get a little bit of oil, put it in the pot. You're going to sweat out these mushrooms and the reason why you want to sweat it out first is because we want to get the moisture out of this bitch so we'll start off on a relatively warm pan it doesn't need to be blazing hot because that's not what we're doing with this now the best way for you to extract liquid out of things is to add a little salt and do it salt based style forearm out let it drizzle across that oh it's not getting in the pot we're going to layer those flavors together and we're gonna sweat this out for roughly about eh, seven to 10 minutes. We took the moisture out. It's gone, it's done. The mushrooms are brown, they are very tender. The next thing that we're going to do, we are going to add the fat component. No, we're not, I'm lying. We're gonna throw the onions in after. <laughs> Let's sweat out these onions, just like we did with the mushrooms. We want them to be a delicious, delicious, uh, what, what do we call it? What do, what, what do we call that? Uh, a crisp brown brown. Now we've gotten the onions and the mushrooms to this point. It has fried in that oil. The mushrooms are brown and the onions are a nice golden brown as well. You could smell it. It's gonna smell like delicious onion rings. Dump that bitch out. We're gonna throw the bacon in there. Some of you are like, well, why don't you just throw the bacon with that shit in there? Because we need the fat not to absorb into this because we're gonna make a roux out of the bacon fat. What is a roux, you ask, my friends? A roux is a mixture of flour and fat. A lot of Southern cooking uses this as a thickening agent for a lot of things. Now at this point, your bacon has danced and sizzled in the fat and all the fat is rendered out. Next up, we're gonna create that roux. Now, depending on how much flour you use is really going to depend on how much gravy you want out of your stuff. So with me, I got roughly about two thirds cup of flour. And if your roux's a little too thick and it's a little clumpy, just add a little more oil to it. And the reason why I'm stirring it, you probably don't have to stir it as vigorously as I am, but I don't want this to have any burnt spots because if your roux burns, you're fucked. You have to start all over again. You have to render the bacon fat again. Next up is your liquid. We're gonna add this a little bit at a time. It gets in there. You see what that roux does? You get this weird paste. You're like, what is this? This isn't gravy. You know why? Because you didn't add enough liquid. We're gonna do this in increments. So basically, at this point, when your gravy gets to a rough boiling point, that's how thick it's going to be. Now that we got the gravy done and ready, next up, my friends, is going to be the beef patty, Loco Moco. This is 100% pure grass fed. No, it's not. If you are gonna cook your ground beef um, patty to about a medium or so, Make sure that you use fresh ground beef. This was fresh, so we're good. You hear that? You hear that? Hear that? Hear that? Hear that? Yeah, you do. Fuck! We're gonna let this cook and get it happy, get merry, brown, crustify, etc., etc. Let the fat creep over here on this side. Let it come to this side. Let it get to that side. Let it go to west side. Two minutes have passed. Take your patty, let the oil dance where you're going to put it. Flip it and look at that color on that patty. This is what you want, the Maillard reaction. You only get that from heat and fat. We are gonna let this go for another minute and a half, two minutes or so. And it's going to be perfect, ready, and sexy. So it doesn't overcook, we're gonna take the patty away, put it on this disposable plate, and let it rest for a bit. And by the time that's rested, it's gonna cook all the way through. Next up, 
my friends, just to make sure that this is all gonna happen. We are gonna cook an egg. A loco moco is not a loco moco without a little egg. A fried, delicious, golden egg. Let's take that egg. Put it on that surface. I heard white people don't salt their fried eggs. Is that true, white people? I do. You're gonna take your rice, put it into a bowl, make sure it's smashed all the way around, okay? Take your rice, take your plate, like such, flip it to make a beautiful mound. Next up, take that beautiful beef patty, put it on top, get a spoon, mix it up again, make sure that I hit my toe. Oh, it's one of those ah, moments. Take your delicious umami-fied gravy with all those bacons, the mushrooms, the onions. Oh, and you are going to place it right on top like this. And don't be stingy with it too. I don't know why people are always stingy with sauce and gravy. You want people to love you. After that, we are gonna take our beautiful fried sunny side up egg. Place it on top. Don't forget the bonito flakes that we had earlier. We're just attacking every single animal on earth. We're doing beef, we're doing pork, we're doing fish. Bonito flakes, my friends, is a dried cured fish that a lot of Japanese people use. We're gonna throw those bonito flakes on top. Don't be too messy with it. Add a little nori to make it pretty. And there you have it, my friends. We have my famous David So. I call it my Miso Loco Moco. And this, my friends, is the Miso Loco Moco. Umami bomb in your mouth. Thank me later. Ooh! This is gonna be my favorite part of cooking food. It's the eating part. Now, we have saucy bossiness everywhere. We have the gravy and of course, watch this shit, break the egg yolk. And we have a sex volcano. Ooh, a little bit of bonito flake, everything else. Burgers cooked to a medium. And that's how you make a fucking loco moco. It's comfort food, man. This is what it is. It's not fancy. It doesn't look like a fucking cucumber sandwich, but this is the stuff that you'll serve to your kids, your friends, and maybe your girlfriend if she's a, a linebacker in the NFL. <laughs> Get yourself a nice little, 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 uh, what do you call this thing? Black pot? <laughs> And you wanna make sure you gotta get doing what you're doing. Your kids are starving. Your girlfriend's waiting for you. You got that weird hentai porn that you masturbate to, you sick fucking freaks. Tentacle porn, who watches that stuff anymore? I don't, to be honest with you. Once you throw onions into a pot or pan, it basically smells like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Isn't that right, Lynn? Yes. That's right, shut the fuck up. Some of you are like, oh, that's not healthy. Why do you have to add so much? How about you shut the fuck up? You don't know what makes your food taste delicious. You just sit in the restaurant and all you do is yelp and criticize, but you don't know how much fat and butter goes into your stuff. So how about you shut the fuck up and learn what I'm cooking so you can impress your friends and tell them to shut the fuck up. Bacon, you make me curvy. I'ma let you get in my body. Because I know that you're worthy. <laughs> when you sneeze, sneeze away from your food. Unless you really love your guests.